Well, some days ago I released a video of how to fix stirring mostly due to frame limiting, uh, turning this into this. And in that video I also talked about things like the HDD, so your disk, your hard drive or your solid state drive making a difference in terms of stutters. But I didn't actually show you any particular difference or any side by side comparison. But in this video I'm actually showing you the difference going from the HDD, from a HDD to an SSD. Basically going from a hard disk, the ones that spin, to an SSD that we know today, in this case an NVMe SSD. And I'm talking about stutters and not loading times because in terms of loading times the difference in some games is massive, almost up to 10 times faster loading, okay? In some games it is actually happening. Same exact system just going from an HDD to an SSD. Don't believe me? Well, let's start with the first game using Unreal Engine 4, which is Days Gone, widely known to stutter a lot in several places, having you an Nvidia or AMD card, okay? That's an Unreal Engine thing. First with a loading time comparison and then a side-by-side -side comparison for you to see the frame timeline and also the 1% loss difference, which is quite big. Let's go. Today's video sponsor is GGG Mobile. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. And well, as you saw, we have a difference in Days Gone of 30, over 30 FPS in the 1% lows and a way smoother experience just going from an HDD to the SSD. And we're talking about the same drivers and we're talking about the same system, just changing the game from an HDD to an SSD. We have a massive increase in terms of 1% lows and with a way overall smoothness, way better smoothness in terms of gameplay. So it will be way more enjoyable. But there are more games where this actually happens and one of them is Horizon Zero Dawn, where each 10 seconds we tend to have a spike on the HDD and when entering new areas, well, the stutters are there. A lot. Let's watch.
quite a show. As you saw, the overall gaming experience is not bad, but once you actually enter a new area and the assets are loading, well, the HDD will give you massive stutters. But as soon as you put the game on an SSD, it is butter smooth. So a way better experience and as the experience should be. So if you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn, definitely get an SSD and the stutters will stop. But this, this isn't Actually, the worst part in this game, the worst part in this game are the loading, not not are, is the loading times. Loading times are a shit with the HDD. Just watch this. What a massive difference, huh? Almost two minutes over the SSD, which is insane in terms of loading times. But well, I tested more games like Fortnite and strangely enough, with these new updates, Fortnite was actually running almost the same way with the HDD and the SSD. Basically the same. No stutters in any of them. No stutters at all using DirectX 12 on my AMD card. Uh, no stutters at all, but I do remember that when going from an HDD to an SSD on the previous versions of Fortnite, I do remember that it made a big difference in terms of stutters. When entering the map, I would stutter a lot because it was using an Unreal Engine 4, I believe. I would stutter a lot, I repeat, a lot with the HDD and the SSD would actually help a lot with those issues so the stutters would be a lot less on the SSD than on the HDD. But now since we're using Unreal Engine 5 I guess things are getting better by the time and when I tested this using HDD or using the SSD was the same and I repeat the same. Going from an HDD to an SSD in some games makes a huge difference. And not only now, I remember like over 10 years ago when the first SSDs were actually being released into the mainstream market, I was playing Lineage 2. And when going to Aiden cities like Aiden for example, with the HDD I would have massive stutters for like 15-20 seconds till everything, till the assets were loaded and then the game would be smooth. And when I changed the game from my HDD to an SSD and it was a 120 gigabytes SSD and not even NVMe, it was SATA 3. Well, the difference was insane. I was like, I was going from like 15, 20 seconds load time to like five seconds and the players and all, everything in the town would load almost instantly. So it was a massive difference in terms of loading times and stutters. And it was over 10 years ago. Although and sadly there are some games that just can't be fixed, even putting them on an SSD. One of them is like Jedi Fallen Order, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, that I can't seem to fix in any possible way. I had it on one or two um, update versions where it was actually working pretty fine with almost no stutters, but now I just can't have a smooth experience. It just won't happen. Putting it on an HDD or on an SSD will be a stuttery mess and if you're going for AMD, well, you, if you want to play this game without stutters, you need to use the 22.5.1 drivers, at least if you're using an RX 6000 series, so basically RDNA 2. If you're using those, you don't want the DX11 improvements on this game because it will make it stutter being on HDD 
or on SSD. It just won't do it. Although recent AMD drivers like the 22.8.2 did improve a lot the, the stutters of the shader cache loading. So, well, in some games it is quite good, in others it is trash, like Need for Speed Heat and Jedi Fallen Order. It is what it is. So conclusion, if you can, go and get your games on an SSD over the HDD because it will make a massive difference. And in terms of drivers, if you're playing Need for Speed Heat or Jedi Fallen Order, just go with the 22.5.1 drivers, otherwise you'll have constant stutters across all the gameplay and that's annoying as hell. Yeah. That's all for this video, thanks a lot for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. Really, thanks a lot for watching because that helps a lot me and the channel. And I guess, see you in the next one. Why not? <laughs>